So this is Don Brill with Brill Engineering again. And we've taken the homemade impact hauler and instead of using a uh, electric motor that was AC, I've put on this little tiny DC motor that runs at 5,000 RPM, relatively inexpensive. I have a couple batteries back here that I'll show you shortly. Well, we're just going to show that one could hook this up to uh, What I just did there, that could have been a hundred pounds an hour. You uh, heard the motor slow down a little bit, but I'll try to get the details on this motor. This will be in our uh, web page. So now let me show you what the makeup of this was. We already verified that we get uh, up into the 90, 95% or greater pull rate. So this is the motor. And then what I've done is put two 12 volt batteries together to give me 24 volts. And at 24 volts, the DC motor runs at 5,000 RPM. So we just set this up like that. The rice went down into that funnel right there. And then into uh, the impeller. Our goal here was to put that DC motor powered by the batteries on here to verify that someone using solar panels and batteries could in fact haul rice. Now we're going to set up the hauler from India with the motors to show how it works. Don Brill again. Uh, we're going to show you our modification we made to the centrifugal hauler and impact hauler that we purchased from India. We'll run some rice in it. This is about uh, three pounds of rice. We're going to set up a motor, and uh, when I'm done hauling this, then I'll take it apart show you what we uh, have done. So here are the main components of this uh, two-man hauler that we added the motors to. What you see there is the impeller. It's attached to that shaft. In here are the blades. There's three of them. As you can see, they put some grooves in there and that aligns the uh, rice as it goes through. It also may separate them. So this right here is the impact ring. This is the 90 durometer uh, polyurethane. I'm not sure if that's polyurethane. And then they have all of this surface just to uh, absorb the impact. The rice shoots down here. 
I added the deflectors down there because it would just come out with too much energy. And then we'd have a fan blowing at the bottom. That ring inside there is this ring where they supply two extras of those. Also, out here you can see this uh, cogs along here. At the bottom, there's a ratcheting system, and this ring slowly turns. I added this 1700 RPM motor. It's a uh, half horsepower. This is our feed system. The rice drops down into that chute and it gets sucked in. And what we've done here is we've got a four inch wheel, two inch wheel. So this, this is running at twice the speed, so 3400 RPM. Down in here I have a one and three quarter inch pulley and it's going to this pulley. This looks like it's about an eight inch pulley. Then I have a two inch pulley here going down to this one. I think that's a 10 inch pulley and it is slowly rotates and that's how we get the uh, impact ring to rotate. I'll uh, start this up again. We'll see. So that uh, ring moving is pretty innovative. On the one we're making that's going to be homemade, we're, no, we're not going to be able to do that. It's going to be solid, so it's going to have a very distinct wear pattern. So that's pretty much how this works. And so this is, uh, just to remind you, this is the one we use to help us made the uh, design that you'll be able to do uh, yourself. Good luck with your project.